Ryan, hey, congratulations for Sniper Rogue Mission. Thank you very much. So how does it feel returning back uh, to uh, this uh, franchise? Oh, so I couldn't wait. I, I couldn't wait. I, I, it, we, I was so happy that we were uh, that we were going again. I had such a good time on uh, Assassin's End. Uh, just yeah, it was it was amazing. And this time, you know, we formed all these very real friendships, you know, off camera as well. And to be able to bring that into this movie was so fun. <laughs> Most excellent. What do you like about uh, these uh, these type of movies? These type of sniper movies. It's unapologetic entertainment. I mean, we're 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 not here trying to tell you how to live your life or change. Things. We're here to entertain you. You know, we 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 give you something meaningful in the core of it that you can latch onto, um, and then we bring levity and entertainment and great action and a lot of fun. It's just ninety minutes of popcorn and soda and hanging out with you, you know, with whoever's on the couch with you and you know, getting some action, some laughs and, and uh, hopefully, hopefully be entertained. And uh, I think these movies are really great for that. And, and that's the biggest compliment I get from people is like, it's just nice to just have a movie just to just, just be so much fun. What's, what's different uh, this time around uh, being in, you know, in the second movie in the Sniper series? There's a, there's a comfortability in this one. I think there's a, a camaraderie where, you know, in Assassin's End, it was a bunch of loners, you know, that were coming together. Where in this one, it sort of feels like the friendships that we all formed in real life, these characters had formed as this, these friendships as well. So uh, it's a, it's definitely more connected. And, and, and there's banter now, you know, we've got some banter. Like this one felt like a buddy cop movie and, and, and even visually pays homage to uh to those great great films you know uh that have come before us and uh i think that's one of the one of the best parts of it you know like we can with these sniper movies visually we can we can play with the the, the genre visually you know what i mean you know with assassin's end there's that comic book vibe and then in, in rogue mission we've sort of got this other you know homage to uh you know the buddy cop movies uh you know days before so that's that's the big thing but the, the banter is super fun and now that we all know each other so well the banter comes really easy as well <laughs> does a does a this type of humor uh come naturally uh you know in films like this for yourself i i think for me it does i, I i'm always like i i, I like ribbing people a little bit I, you know i think i try to be I recognize that I look uh, in, in a sort of intense way and, and I go out of my way um, to be fun and to, and disarming in a sense because I have a very angry resting face. So I try really hard to uh, <laughs> smile and, and, and I think Zero is sort of the same and, and, and Zero allowing himself to connect with people which he hadn't, hasn't done in so long. And same with Brandon. Um, I think brings something else out in him and there's this I think the banter between Brandon and Zero uh, was written so well by Oliver. Uh, I think he, I think he did a, he did a great job. You know, Oliver loves uh, siblingish relationships, and and he writes them very, very well. Um, even even with the bad guys, you know, there's this. The, the, he, he, I just love the way he writes banter, to be honest. And then within that, we can we get to play and, and mess around with it and, and just have fun with it. It's just, it was so fun. It's such a good time on those shows, on those, on those shoots. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand that, uh, that you, you love, uh, working on this, especially with the same friends. Like, once again, tell us about uh, working yeah. with Chad one, once more. Well, Chad and I, you know, we didn't have a lot of screen time together in Assassin's End. And, uh, so we were just getting to know each other. And it was actually after when we were doing, press and then we stayed in touch and we and then we were sort of challenging each other leading up to rogue mission we were we were sort of taunting each other on social media with different challenges and workout challenges and fire range challenges and, and uh, it was just so much fun and as we got to know each other we realized you know uh what a good friendship we had formed and so um allowing brandon to have a 
more broad sense of humor was a lot of fun for everybody. I think especially for Chad, I, I feel comfortable saying and, and uh, allowing, you know, zero just to get under his skin and frustrate him. Zero's kind of always like this poking, poking the bear. Uh, so yeah, I think that, that made for um, some really fun scenes to watch. When, the, when you get to work with uh, friends and co-stars again, do you find that as an advantage or do you enjoy working with like new, newer people? Uh, it's a bit of both. I mean, it, there's definitely the shorthand is there. So it, it, when you have that kind of shorthand and knowledge of one another, the dance is a little bit easier. Um, and because Oliver wrote Assassin's End, although he didn't direct it, he was there um, every day. So we became friends. And so going into nine, we knew it was really easy for us to communicate. It was easy for us to talk to one another. And if I had questions about some of the dialogue, that was all real easy. And then we, the new cast that were brought in were so much fun and everybody brought their A game. Everybody worked so hard um, on this film and, and gave it their all. So the bar was set really high you know, off the off the get go. So we were having a great time, but we were also were, I don't want to say competitive, but we really wanted to put in our best work. Now I know you uh, acted in uh, across different genres, but uh, why? You know, you you to me, you look like an action star. <laughs> so <laughs> why 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 this genre appeal, appeals to you uh, so much? Because I know you've done a lot of action yourself. Yeah, well, I, I'm a lifelong martial artist. I've been fighting since I was 10. And uh, I've studied all kinds of uh, fighting styles, you know, uh, martial arts, to wrestling and boxing, uh, jujitsu, and all of it. And, and I love that, the, the, the science of the fight, not the violence of the fight so much as like, I really like, it's like the chess with pain to me, I guess. Um, so being able to, Utilize those tools is, is really fun for me. Uh, and also, you know, who doesn't want to be an action hero if you get a chance? Like, if you know what I mean? Like, I, I love it. I, I love just this is, you know, this is my, this is as close as I've got to be a superhero, you know? Usually I'm the bad guy. So it's really fun to be the good guy who's kicking ass instead of the bad guy who's kicking you know? But I also zero because zero is the brute force guy where Brandon is the stealth guy. Zero does get beaten up pretty bad in his fight scenes. So I do take a lot of lumps as well. Um, and, and, and like, really like those scenes are, they're, they're, uh, they're for their intense to shoot, you know, like connections were made. <laughs> Punches were landed. <laughs> I was I was gonna say you know being being that brute force guy could you tell us about uh, you know your fight choreography uh, training um in in this because it because it seems like you did your own stunts yeah I mean we well because my very first day of shooting was a, a fight scene in in an elevator uh, and and our stunt team was phenomenal uh, it's hits internationals with Brett Chan and, and, and Johnny and Beats and this cr a crazy incredible group um, that brought in these, these local talent that was absolutely insane um, and you know you had a few days to rehearse but ultimately you have to just go for it and um, you know uh, Eric at the Valley who played opposite me in the fight he had one day he, he had to replace an actor who got sick and he came in and he was amazing. And he's not, a, he wasn't a natural fighter. He wasn't, you know, we were shooting and uh, I can't remember what happened, but at some point, you know, he punched me in the face and the, the look of terror, <laughs> I just, I looked at him and he just looked like scared for his life. And I was like, just keep going, just keep going, just use that, keep going. <laughs> like, it was fine. It was an accident. We were, it's in such an enclosed space. I'm sure I got him a couple of times. He got me a few times and, um, but because we had such a good team and such good choreography, no one got hurt. We had a blast. <laughs> well, I guess that's why you you guys get paid the big bucks uh, to take to take a little bit a little bit of licking, but it's all pretend licking. Kind of, yeah, it's, it's tough when it's the first day of filming and then you've got the whole rest of the movie to shoot. But other than that, you know, it's you know, it's so it's the I, and I don't have to do the crazy 
the choreography that Chad and Sayaka have to do, those two, like, that's like they do some really fun stuff, you know. Like they do all the stealth hand stuff, you know, where I'm just like, <laughs> I'll just, I'm just running in. I'll just blast the door down and not even count how many people are there. <laughs> so, I, so I, t- I take it you got the easier job uh, out of out of this uh, buddy cop movie. <laughs> I, I, I get it. But I mean, I definitely am the one prone to getting knocked around more because of that, but. Uh, yeah, they are fun to shoot. I mean, they're very, very phys- very physical for like, you know, the wrestling and the lifting of people, and you know, that's that uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I I I want to know is because uh, like I mentioned, like you look like an action star. I want to know is how do you keep up with your workout routine to come up with that soldier's body of yours? Man, it's uh, it gets you know it gets more challenging the older you get, I guess. But it's um, I have a pretty strict uh, regimen. I have really good trainers that I work with. Um, I I try to like we have this thing I like to like stay ready so I don't have to get ready. Um, I've done in the past where I'll, I'll be in shape for a film and then and then just go and eat all the pizza and drink beer and have fun and then and then I have to get back in it. Um. I try to do that less now. I try to be more diligent and more strict, but it, it's hard. It's, it's tough. It's not like it's super fun. I, you know, I'm, I have, my output is insane. I have to train every day. And then leading up to the film, my calorie consumption is really low. And, and, uh, you know, I, I'm competing with Chad. Look at that guy. The guy's got zero body fat on him. He's ridiculous. He's a specimen. And then I look like a truck. So, you know, <laughs> It's like, I have to, honestly, like, when I go to these movies, I have to go in, have to lose 10, 15 pounds just to, just so I don't look, so I look like a truck and not a tank. Yeah. Well, what, one more thing with you, Ryan, because, uh, you know, there is so many uh, sniper movies. I want to know mm-hmm. what's your favorite sniper movie besides yours. Um, I mean, it's a simple answer to be the first one. I, uh, for me, uh, because I'm, I, I'm such a huge Tom Berenger fan, and it was such a thrill and an honor um, to have spent time with him uh, on Assassin's End. I, the first one was like, it just came out at a time where those are the movies I was really loving, and I thought it was done so well. And and he he, he didn't make it just a, just a goofy action movie. Like, Tom put his heart and soul in it, and his character... Um, stuff really mattered to him you know it was important like what he was doing was important to him and we try very hard to maintain that that like all the fun and all the action and all the entertainment is is all rooted in in something important something that has to be that everybody agrees uh you know you know a wrong that must be righted and uh tom's conviction was always it's always so watchable in everything he does i think that's what i loved about the first sniper movie is that character's conviction um and and, and i that's what we try to do moving forward i try to do that in all my work like sincerity mm. and conviction i mean that's 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 the root of having a good time as an actor well you you made a fun movie and um i, I think you did a terrific job too ryan thank you very much uh, for speaking to us hopefully we get to do this again i hope so thanks gig it was great to meet you